Welcome one and all to Knights of Pen and Paper. This is a game, a simulation based type of game where you take control of a party of people coming to a good old fashioned pen and paper D&D session. We have our dungeon master out here at the front. We have his assistant here, which you basically you buy these things with the coins in the top left hand corner here. You earn these coins during your adventures. Uh, let me see. We can also go to the shop here. And you can buy certain things for your little adventure. You can buy snacks, which is a time-based thing. 2% uh, lifesteal for... We've only got 29 minutes left on that. Uh, there's other things we can buy also. We can buy drinks. Also, uh, it gives you like extra bonuses, of course, for a time limit. There are other things you can buy here, which is also permanent. Uh, BK Crown can fight seven monsters in the battle, permanent effect. Holy crap, have five players at the table. Also, good move. So we're going to be starting off with a few bonuses that uh, if you pick up the game yourself and start from scratch, you're not going to have. So you have to work towards that. Now, there's a few other things. Golden table, plus uh, that's a little bit garish though. I like the wood table. Customize it to however you like to play the game. So we are going to get rid of my mug, like such, and we're going to close this and begin a new game. Uh, we are going to override this one, yes, because it's been a while since I've played. Choose the chairs to add at least two players. Right, so we can basically choose the kind of person that we're having in the role of Paladin. Now these things give us uh, passive bonuses, so basically min-max to the, your, uh, the best of your abilities. Um, healing 1 HP per turn, Wolfie is probably a uh, werewolf of some description. Um, little brother. Uh, rocker, yeah, a, ro a rocking, a rocker of the, who is a paladin. Rock on. So add, yeah. <laughs> I love that. I love that. All right. Uh, so we've got a paladin. Uh, the other thing we're going to need is, do we have a cleric? Yes. Um, we are going to have a cleric. This yeah, gets count to buy this player. Um, bonus to attack. Ooh, Paris, fifty percent discount on blacksmith upgrades for this player. You know what? We're gonna do that. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> but never try a nerdy game once. So we can actually go out and adventure now, but we're not going to. We're going to actually fill out our party because we can. Um, coins. How are we going for coins? Seven coins. Well, guess what? We're going to have to go out and adventure to gain some coins. So, yes, uh, we are ready. Our character sheets are filled in as best as we can. Yeah, let's rock on. <laughs> rock on. Come on, is this character from the future? Yeah, man, we got back. Extra experience points are rewarded those who are role playing. Okay, before we start, you should know that you can set the difficulty for the game by increasing or decreasing the amount of monsters you fight. So let the adventure begin now. As you wake up, you can hear the cold whispering of the wind. You can't remember that anything happened before. All you know that you're a group of friends locked in a tower of prison for no reason at all, and everybody's calling you assassins. While searching for a way out, you notice that the prison bars have been broken by some kind of magic. Let's get out of this place. As you leave the cell, you face some guards that are clearly unhappy to see you there. Hey, you're not supposed to be outside the cell. Not You're supposed to be inside the cell, not outside it. Guard 2. You do not want to get hurt, do you? Get back in your cell already. Ha, you're going to regret that I'm not returning to that cage for no good reason. Get back! Uh, leave the prison. Tip. 
You do not need to kill all of them at once. You may battle as many monsters as you like at, at a time until you reach the objective. So the objective is kill two guards in one or more battles to complete the quest. So we are going to battle. Now, guard, we're going to... We're going to go for two guards. Oh no, okay, so we add one guard, two guards. So that's not going to be... It's going to be middle of the road. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be hard. So we're going to start. Oh man, where are my loaded dice? All right. So he is the Paladin going to attack. Number one. Okay. Uh, that's a heal. That's defend. Or let's just chicken out and go run away. All right. So it's pretty... Just basically click, click, click. Uh, we're going for a focus fire. And our Paladin seems to be regenerating his own health, which is pretty damn nifty, actually. And once you get down to one player, you can just basically just keep clicking. And we are successful. It's always good to have a victory. Okay, we get 110 XP for the party and plus 10% bonus for group bonus. Nice. And we get some coins. So what we can do, uh, that's the quest. We can actually stay here and combat more guards if we so desire. Or we can continue our quest or go and have a rest at the inn. Well, that's basically a, a resting portion. I want the fight. Okay. Oh, sound the alarm. We have a situation on the second floor. Oh, the alarm. I think we should sneak past the next guards. Rolls dice. Nice roll. You sneak past the other guards while everybody has been too busy looking for you. As you reach the first level of the tower, a strange man covered in a dark cloak is awaiting for you in his horse-drawn wagon. Strange guy. We, we shall leave this place for now. Hurry up. I don't know who you are, but we'll have to trust you for now. The, st the strange guy rode with you to the default village, where your adventure is just about to begin. Yay, we got the quest. Pro tip, you may choose whichever quest you like, but the main quest will be marked with stars. And we leveled up. And of course, as leveling up, you get to choose things. Uh... We, that's level zero, flash here. Okay, these are things we can actually do, or actually, oh, I've just leveled up and I've just chosen myself Holy Shield. A shield that reduces 50% of taken damage while for two turns. Not bad for a tank. Okay, let's go to our Cleric and we're going to gain the Circle of Healing or Restoration. We're going to do, actually, we're going to do a restoration. A single heal that restores 15 HP for the wounded target. There we go. We've leveled up. Alright. Close that. Right. So, here are our options. Now, I'm not entirely sure. Okay, that's the the options. I do can we add, oh, we can add a new player. We can bring a new player in whenever we like, but we have to have the gold coin to do it. Let's meet a new player. Um, I want to have a, uh, is there an archer in this? Oh, yes, we have a hunter. Who are we going to have for our hunter? Uh, the jock, Wolfie, okay. Yeah, we're gonna have little brother as the as the hunter. Plus five to initiative. All good. Yeah. Let me play. Let me play. Let me play. Let me play. Awesome. So, what we're going to do there is the map. The map here. We have got a main quest line quest here. So, I think the best thing to do is create a quest. Uh, slay monsters and gain experience, 50% more experience. Alright. So we can go level 1, which is probably not a bad idea. We can choose our quest. So 
the slaying quest is a main quest. We can do other things. Uh, level 9, that's probably a little bit out of our league. Even level 3 is a little bit out of our league <laughs> for the time being. Or we can collect a blood gemstone. We can go down to level 1 for that. Or we can just continue on. Oh, escort, level 30. No. Let's go on with the main mission, shall we? You must save the villagers inside that house. You're so mean. Deal with my monsters. Kill seven rats in one or more battles to complete the quest. Okay, how hard? Uh, we'll actually go, we'll stick with the rats. Uh, that's five, six, seven. It's not going to be easy. But we're going to try it anyway. Cheats won't help. Oh no, they're attacking my cleric. Okay, spell. Holy shield. I'm going to shield myself. Okay. I don't have any spells for my ranger, so we're just going to attack. And we're going to attack this guy. You can actually use number keys for this. So... We're going to attack. Basically, we're going to focus down. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I oh, can actually just click on the uh, thing and actually it auto attacks the uh, first, uh, first one. So that's great. So we can just go click. Ooh, that's not so bad. The character is actually uh, regening health pretty well, so we can probably just. And I think this is actually due to my snacks. So we should be able to just uh, rip through these in one sitting. Yeah, getting more than enough regen. So we don't actually really have to spend even spend mana points to do this. We could probably use um, yeah. For some reason, I've got regeneration is probably one of the bonuses I've got. But it's very very easy actually at this stage of the game. I could probably actually uh, like go up to maybe level two and get more experience and level up quicker. But we've actually got, got a, wow, 60% group bonus. Nice. So, update your character sheet. Yes, please. We are going to... Uh, three divine tag and range is threat to 40. Well, if we're going to have the rocker as our tank, hell yes. Okay, the cleric, we are going to... Circle of Healing. Hmm. It's a lower amount, but it heals everybody. Weakening or Smite. We might actually choose Smite, actually. And for our Hunter, we are going to... Takes longer to aim, raises one on your attack at cost of initiative. A little bit of, like, really bonus damage is actually pretty good. Aims for the heart, damaging your target and bleeding it out with minus 40% of your, of your attack. We're going to go with Concentrate. Alright. And we are going to get... Go for a full party. Oh, 80. Holy crap. Actually, uh, pizza got... We can't even afford a, th a fourth player yet. That's okay. That's fine. So, quest. We did it. And we get a little bit more gold. Fantastic. Oh, good. Little brother leveled up again. Uh, we are going to actually do... Volley. Actually, yeah, we're gonna do, we're gonna get, grab that spell. Nice. So we've got uh, more main mission quests here. 
Did I not? A girl approaches a group and cries out in a desperate voice. Is she cute? At least you can fill out fill adventures with beautiful girls. Fair enough, her charisma is 19. There's a rat infestation in the village. Please, can you deal with it as fast as possible? The commoner girl is really frightened and you can, you can see it in her eyes. But helping her, not only you're helping, not only her, but the whole village as well. Take care of the rat infestation of the uh, village. I thought I already just did that. Well, let's bring it on. <laughs> Are you kidding? Right, we're going to do a spell of a volley. And, yep, that was actually pretty good. So, and now we're going to use a spell of a leader strike on, say, you. It's probably a, not the best spell for me to use, but, uh, okay, smite or, nah, we're just going to uh, just do a basic attack. Right, uh, we're going to volley again. Yeah, we're, we're good rat slayers. Uh, let me see. No, no, it doesn't really need healing yet. I'm going to go for another volley. Yeah. Ace them. More XP. Holy crap. Oh, not quite a level up. And we don't quite have enough gold for the next party member either. Sadly. <laughs> May the rumours are true. You really are great warriors. Wait here. She quickly goes inside her house. What is this? A bathroom break? So many rat corpses on the ground. You're starting to earn the respect from the villagers. Finally. Finally. They leveled up again. <laughs> Okay, we can go for another level of Leader Strike or Holy Shield. Actually, we're going to go for another... Shield that reduces... No, we're going to go for another Leader Strike. Yeah, we want the Rocket to be the one to take the damage. And the Cleric is going to be responsible for keeping <laughs> that Rocker up. So we're at level 2. Restores 25 hit points, and we are going to... Actually, we're going to up that volley. I can't. Because he hasn't leveled up yet. No! Okay, so this is still main quest. Really? Um, I suppose we can just stick around and slay their monsters for them. Uh, yeah. The annoying bat sounds heard throughout the village are about to drive you insane when a nearby old man speaks up. Old oh man, where are all the girls? The bats are eating all of the village's food. They fly around every night. You already know what must be done. We need to stock more food. The winter is coming. Very nicely done. What? Did we actually finish this or what? <laughs> Maybe you can look into back caves to avoid more attacks in the future. Deal with the group of bats that are terrifying everyone in Default Village and eating all of their food. Kill five bats in one or more battles to complete the quest. Well... That's five. It's... Should be pretty easy to knock out. Cheats will not help. Well, we're not going to cheat. We're just going to kill them all. Ooh, these guys are a little tougher. They're doing two points of damage now. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay. Right, spells. Leader strike on you. Whoa. All right. You're just going to um, heal up a little bit, so knock off that guy. And then we'll go for another volley. Not quite. 
Right, he's definitely taking some damage here, so we're going to go for another spell of Holy Shield. Yeah, cast Threaten and Bubble. <laughs> Actually, we're going to use a spell of Smite. And knock him out. No highs. And a volley. Bit of AoE. Um, I'm employing old school WoW tactics here. And it's working pretty well. I probably should have used another um, leadership strike, but uh, never mind. We'll knock these guys over. No worries. Ta da! We win! And little brother has leveled up. Uh, we're going to level up his... We're going to level up his uh, Concentrate. It's a passive skill, so, but it gives, more, it, gives, it gives him more damage. And that's a good thing. Right, so... As you can see, sometimes NPCs have good tips for your quest or where to go next. Stay alert. We appreciate your willingness to help us. We really need to get all the help we can get. The king has been so weird lately. Everything is quite different from the way it was before. See what I mean? Let's continue our adventure. Yay, quest done. Looks like the bats have returned to their cave. You should investigate further or they'll come back eventually. Six, co six coins, 3800 XP for the party and not quite a level up. And still not enough for another player. Dolt. <laughs> so. Uh, oh, this is the shop. We can actually buy a shop for coins, but I really want more players. So we're gonna wait. On with the next quest. Really? More? You remember what the old man told you in the next in the last task? Er, no, I'm used to skipping all the chat and flavor messages in the games. Are those even even necessary anyway? Then you should read more because sometimes you'll find some useful tips and information. Whatever! What did the old man tell us anyway? The old man told you that the default village will probably be attacked again. You should head to the den of the devil and make sure they will they won't leave that place anymore. Kill most of the bats in the den of the devil. Tip, sometimes you need to travel to complete tasks. Let's travel, shall we? To the den of the devil. And of course, of course it costs coins to travel. Oh, there's a random is there a random encounter? No. We are here in the den of the devil. Kill most bats in the den of the devil. Tip. Sometimes you'll need to travel. Yes, 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 yes. Kill six bats in one or more battles to complete the task. Um, six, eh? Well, that's five. That's six. Let's knock this over, shall we? Oh man, where am I load of dice? Alright, we are still going to attack with the volley. Alright, and then we are going to go with a leadership strike on the end one over here. Alright. Ooh, ouch. <laughs> He's taking a little bit of damage there, so we're actually going to apply a bit of a heal here. Keep him up. And we can go for another volley. And I think we're doing all right, so we're just going to go for another leadership strike. Say on this end one, knock him out. We're just going to nip this one down, and then we're going to go for another volley right here, and that should end the battle. A victory! Bucket loads of experience. Still not enough for another player. Bugger. Okay. Uh, devotion. The light gives you strength. You gain five extra HP and extra um, one nine percent threat. 
that's probably not a bad idea. So we are going to do that for the rocker, Paris. Um, we are going to gain the Circle of Healing, just in case. You never know, we might need it. Uh, okay, Bullseye. Hmm. Yeah, it's a passive, so we're going to do it. Why not? Right, what is the next quest? Well done. For now. What? For every bat you killed, the misty fog around you becomes thicker and darker, but you never noticed. Before you even realized something was very wrong, a big shadow crept up on you, getting closer every second. You stand up waiting, wondering what is about to appear in front of you. I have a really bad feeling about this. Let's see how you handle this one. Some say kill or be killed. I guess that's what you should be you should be thinking right about now. Danger, your party has been attacked. <gasps> Ooh, boss battle. Boss battle music also. Right. Pull out the volley. Oh, okay. We are now going to pull out the leader strike on the middle one. The rocker's got to keep that aggro. Alright, we're going to pull a smite on this one over here. Yep, get rid of the ads. Alright, I'm going to go for another volley. And I think we're actually going to go for a bubble. Now, I think we're just going to go for a restoration on our uh, tank. Ooh, deploying heals as well. Not cool, man. Not cool. Leader strike. Okay. Uh, close that. Uh, we're going to go for smite. Uh, attack. Yeah, we, we've got this. We've got this. No worries. Go for a gang. And a win. A victory for us. And we get a croc fang too. Okay, that's cool. Okay, so nearly 1500 XP for the party. 20% to grip bonus. And we've got enough gold for another party member. We're going to go through our level ups here. Uh, flash heal. A flash of heal heals yourself for 10 HP. You know what? That's not a bad idea. Just in case the cleric is down. At least the tank can keep himself up. Okay, cleric. Uh, what are we going to do with you? Uh, circle heal. Um, single heal, smite, weakening. You know what? That might not be a bad idea. Let's get, let's get all else spell things together all right bullseye is up concentrate is up heart shot he's not leveled up yet well folks that's going to be the end for today today's episode of knights of pen and paper plus one so of course if you've got this far in the video and you do indeed enjoy the videos and the series that i do Go ahead and click that like button for me, and I shall see you in the next episode of Knights of Pen and Paper. Until next time.